Hello guys, it's me Call the Wise and today I'm going to show you how I use the Undermine Journal. If you don't know what this site is, this is actually a site that you can use to check the auction houses and the prices on the auction houses on any server, as you can see right here, on any region. And you basically just choose the realm that you want to choose, maybe type in the name of the item and you'll see a graphic that shows you the historical price the sale rate and basically the current price plus the region value and so on i'm going to choose lightbringer because this is my uh recent uh realm that i play on the one that i posted the video yesterday about um my journey from level 10 to 50 and i wanted to show you how i use the site i use this site every day at least whenever i'm logging in that is at least once a day and basically I snipe um, items here or I just check the prices so I know what to farm later if I want to farm something later uh, whenever I start on a new realm I usually check the prices especially if it's a, pop, a low pop realm to see if there are any items that I can snipe and sell them for more uh, even materials and so on so usually I just go uh, and press on deals and you'll see a lot of categories here but what you want to do, uh, like the first step is to set the age to, to the most recent and then check all the items here, how many are on the auction house, the current price, the mean price and the regional price. So now the first three items are not that good. But then I see plundered Throga Blessed Bulwark that goes for around 800 gold at the moment. The mean is 12k and the regional is around 9k. So what I can do is actually copy this and then go into WoW on the auction house, search for it and there's actually one at 800 gold. I would buy this. Uh, I would buy this and I will buy this. Why I buy this and why I snipe items is because people might not know the actual price because they might not use an add-on or even if they use an add-on they just wanted to sell it uh, for a quick buck they maybe need gold for uh, gold time or something like that and they sell it for a very low amount of gold as you've seen right here even if i sell it for the regional price i still make 10 times the profit i made after buying it or if i sell it on the mean i get um even more but now since i have the only one that's available on the auction house i can put it at even more i can maybe even put it at 20k on the auction house and just try my luck like that until another one appears then i see another one the plunder twin bar shanker which goes for 121 gold but the mean and regional are kind of the same maybe around 3k if i buy this the profit margins will be insane so even if i have only 4.5k as i've shown you in the video yesterday that was the goal that i've made from 10 to 50 I can still snipe a nice amount of items for a nice profit margin. Uh, on one of my realms, Ravencrest, whenever I started uh, playing the auction house there, I managed to buy 20 uh, leg pieces for 30 gold a piece and now I'm selling them for 20k gold a piece. I don't know why nobody bought them, but I was the first one to buy them and I bought all of them because the, the price for one was so cheap that I could afford all of them. And only by selling one of them for 20k, which actually happened, I not only like made 50 times the profit I've paid for them, I made even more because I still have a lot of them left on the auction house. Now, I'm not saying that you will find items to snipe. I'm not saying that you will find items with a good profit margin. I'm just telling you that you can use this site as I do. Um, and I check uh, basically on for every realm every day in order to find something that i can snipe and how i snipe and what i snipe now i'm looking every day at the dropped rare and epic armor weapons then i go to dropped uncommon armor and weapons and check right here too so as you see there are two items posted for two gold and one gold and another one for 900 gold so this realm is actually insane i didn't know that i just chose it because it was a low pop now if i'm to copy this item and put it here you see it's one posted for 16k and another one for two gold i think this person didn't know that 
the price for this item was um, that high. I just posted luck, like maybe for mistake or maybe the add-on was not set up correctly because not many people use the add-on or if someone uses it, it might not pay attention to the price that the add-on shows. It will post for now checking the rattling bone spoilers too because they have a nice profit margin. There, are, there is one for 900 gold and one for 2.4k. Now I only have 3.4k left. If I were to buy this piece for 900 gold, I would post it for 2.4k. I don't know if I will sell it for that much, but I'm making a big investition, investition if I buy this. I don't know if I want to buy this. As you've seen before, I bought only items that had a very low cost. So basically, whenever you start on a new server, you look for the items that you can buy for a very, very low price and then sell it for a very high price or at least a nice price in which you can at least double your money. That's the thinking that you need to be um, having. Whenever you start on a new server and you don't have that much capital, or whenever you start playing and you don't have that much capital, you need to look for th th these best opportunities and buy all the items that you can get for a nice amount of gold and then sell them for even more. Like for example, these whirling dervish, dervish breeches, 600 gold on my realm. There are two, but the second one is posted for 11k. These have a higher chance of getting me my gold back plus a lot of more gold back if I buy them. So I will buy those. Even though these were only 300 gold more, the probability of them selling for a nice amount of gold were lower since there was already another one posted for 2.4k. And uh, you would only get like uh, 1. 1.5k back. But if I sell these for 10k or 11k, I get like 10k more than I paid for it. Now there's nothing left here. You see their braces. I don't know if I should buy these. From my own experience, these are not really that good to sell. I'm not looking at the crafter crafted armor and weapons because usually um, if you find items here and you buy them and you try to reset the market or you try to make a good profit margin, the probability is that people will craft uh, another one and post it on the auction house. Although you can sometimes look at items that um, have a nice profit margin, like this one. It's 1k per robe. The next ones are posted for 5k. I could buy this one and try my luck with um, selling it for like 5k and make 4k more than what I paid for. But I don't want to invest in crafted items. I want to buy only items that can drop and have a low chance of dropping in case there are any. Like those plundered items I bought before. So I don't usually look at the crafted section. I don't usually look at uh, weapons or armors with bonuses either. Because those are mostly current content and they usually are worth a lot and if you're a beginner especially you don't have that much money you can still look sometimes here in order to see if there are any recent items that are posted for like way below their um original price or average price and try your luck but usually i don't check this category that much because it's a waste of time for me i don't look at the dropped um items common items and junk items because they are basically junk items that you sell to the vendor there are gray and common items that are not worth my time now i'm looking at the uncommon recipes and common recipes because recipes have a high chance of um being sold especially if they're rare especially if they're a tbc pattern so like let's look if there are any right now uh not that many but there is one tome of polymorph for turtle which is posted for around 20k on my realm the market value is 27 but the historical price and region market value is 84 i don't have money to buy it if i would have the 20k i would buy this and try to sell it for maybe like 60 to 4 to 80k because 
since you're the only one that has an item on a realm especially if it's a low pop realm you can control the market because it's easy you don't have that much competition and you can make whatever you want with the prices now moving forward there are not um, recipes that are worth my time I'm not usually looking at the dropped consumables uh, but I usually look at them if there are any archaeology ones the archaeology um, um, pieces that you can buy um, sometimes are posted for like a low amount of gold maybe 10 50 gold per piece and you can sell them for hundreds especially if they're from the Pandaria one or um, newer ones that people might want to buy to finish up their archaeology achievements and so on I usually look at the trade goods too because sometimes you can find items such as Blood of the Mountain or Nerbin Obelisk actually uh, here are the archaeology artifacts uh, I don't know why I thought that I can find them here too but you can find like uh, archaeology artifacts here too and here you can see the Mogi statue piece which is posted for 100 gold but usually goes for 1k or 500k regional I think I'll buy this it's the only one but people will surely buy it in time especially if I post it for a nice amount of uh, gold and it's the only one if there is anyone on this realm that wants to do archaeology in Pandaria it will buy this because it will need it I also uh, look at the companion deals because sometimes battle pets can grant you the most gold they could, that you can make especially in a new realm uh, that's why whenever you start on a new realm you want to start with a steady gold so maybe like uh, farming plants or ores or going to old raids and farm some battle pets there because battle pets are sold if you have another account that has battle pets like another character on another realm that has battle pets you can check the prices on those battle pets on your realm and if it's higher than your main realm you can um, basically just sell that pet that you got on another realm on your new realm and make a nice profit of it right now there's nothing that's uh, worth I would buy the iron starlet but I don't think I want to make that investment because from my experience it just doesn't actually sell us for that much and sometimes I look at the miscellaneous items because um, you might find something that's fun maybe a toy maybe something that you can sell uh, but usually this is like kind of useless you can sometimes find better shields as you see the, uh, as you see them here but it's not that um, it's not worth your time to look at them so I bought a couple of items I paid uh, I think let's say 2k or maybe 1.9k <clears throat> looking here yeah around that price but looking at the items that I bought for that amount and I was lucky with these two items that might not <laughs> sell that fast but again I paid only three gold for them which is I think higher than even their vendor sale price in some cases these actually uh, can bring me up to 30k this one will bring me even 20k if I sell it for that much this item I can sell even for 10 to 15k this item will bring me like say 10k if the prices keep on like this I will sell this for like maybe 500 gold to 1k so only by sniping using the undermine journal and using this method of mine you can make a lot of gold or a lot of value in your auction house even from the beginning that's why I like to use the undermine journal if you know how to use the undermine journal it's a very helpful tool even for beginners or even for uh, people that have experience in this uh, domain the gold farming making uh, and making of gold in fact some of the most wealthy players are using the undermine journal and are uh, sniping a lot of items every day they don't really farm items they just snipe them and um, sell them for a higher value than they are actually worth I hope you found this uh, video entertaining or enjoyable or interesting I hope it helped you and if you have more things that you can uh, teach me or if you have things that you want me to try you can tell me in the comment section and I'll try to answer as fast as possible but again I'm Claude Wise and see you later